Hello and welcome to another SH Figuarts review. Today we're taking a look at Stormtrooper from A New Hope. I will be comparing this with the original Stormtrooper SH Figuarts release. I don't have the Rogue One one, but I did compare it just a little bit in terms of accessories and I will also compare him with the Bandai Model Kit stuff because those are really cheap to get right now and if you can't afford this, will the Model Kit one be suffice? Trooper here stands just about 15 and a half centimeters or about six and 6.2 inches tall. If I just bring in the old Stormtrooper here, you can see the new one is about a forehead taller than the old one. If I bring in the old Darth Vader, you can see that the new Stormtrooper is pretty much the same height as the original Darth Vader. If I bring in the new Darth Vader, a new Darth Vader, you can see that the new Darth Vader is much taller and much more uh, towards, you know, scaled properly compared to Stormtroopers because Darth Vader is supposed to be quite big. If I bring in the Model Kit Stormtrooper, you can see that the Model Kit is still just a tiny bit taller than the new figure. You can see it's sort of going like a little slope there, like this one's a little bit, a little bit. Um, but you can see how much difference that makes in comparing to scales to other figures. Uh, I'll go a bit more detailed in the Darth Vader review, but as you see with this Stormtrooper, he looks really out of place. He's like a head shorter than the new Darth Vader, whereas this one, it's almost close. Now I'll go into a bit more detail in terms of different scales with Luke's and stuff in the Darth Vader videos, so you can check that out. But here we're just focusing on the Stormtroopers. But I'm glad that this one fits with the new scale of all the figure arts and it also fits quite well. I mean, it's a little bit different compared to the model kits, but overall, if you just pose them slightly differently, they do stand quite well with the model kits, which are super cheap to get, super easy to build, and they look good without any paint jobs. And if you don't want to get the new Stormtrooper figure arts, the model kits do fit really well with the new figure art star fader. In terms of accessories, aside from the fist already attached to the figure, both the old and new figure come with a pair of sort of relaxed, very open hands, as well as a pointing slash gun holding hand. I really wish they would have come with actual gun holding hands separate from a pointing hand. That would be so much better, just like they do in the model kits. Eh? Model kits actually come with an extra separate, just finger pointing hand. Both of these figures also come with the E11 blaster, of course. The old one here is just in a sort of flat black mold, whereas the new one has a bit of paint on it, a metallic black paint, which is how I like to spray paint my model kit guns. The new one also has this extra attachment on the side there, which is not removable. On the model kit, this piece also exists, but the, as it is a model kit, it is removable. So, so far the model kit still has the best E11 blaster, just because you can also remove the ammo pack from the model kit version. Otherwise, the mold on both of these are different, but just very similar. And I mean, honestly, whichever one looks fine to you looks fine. They're not, they're just so similar to each other. Just minor little nitpicky details that you might notice if you're a huge, huge fan of these guns in the movie. It also comes with this giant sort of double bell machine gun thingy. Uh, I recognize it, but I can't tell you what gun this is. I just sort of recognize it. And I can't remember what the uh, Rogue One figure had for accessories. So I, I guess I'll just post a picture or a link somewhere around here so you can sort of compare this with the Rogue One one, which I don't have. It also has this gun with a rotating barrel. It's sort of like a giant rocket thingy. Again, I recognize this gun, but I, I don't know what it's called and I've not actually seen it in action. The new figure also has this extra E11 blaster pouch thingy, so you can just raise the arm, remove this bit, and then plug in this pouch. And then you can just unplug this, rotate this around, it's made out of soft-ish plastic, put the blaster in there, hook this back up, and that's pretty cool. This is something that the model kit has had all this time. Now the model kit version has a sort of just a soft-ish plastic, nowhere near as soft as this for that blaster holder, but the plus side with the uh, model kit one is that it can go on either side without it uh, looking slightly awkward. You can see that it bumps up a little bit, looks a bit weird. If I just plug this piece back on, you can see this piece also bumps up a little bit and looks a bit awkward, whereas on the model kit it doesn't have this problem. So in terms of just accessories and stuff you get with the figure, uh, I would say the model kit is still better. Yeah, you do get two new guns here, but the model kit also has his own two guns. So it just depends which guns you prefer, but in terms of just different hands and pouches and customization on the figure itself, I think the model kit still wins. It's still the best 112 
like Stormtrooper figures you can get in terms of the pricing and stuff you get with it. So here I am going to compare the bits of difference between the new figure with the original Stormtrooper as well as the model kit. Just to see the modeling difference if there are any between them. Uh, first of all, I just want to start off with the white color. Both the model kit and this one is a bit more on the blue side of things when you talk about color balance. Whereas the old one here is a bit more on the yellow or red or orangey side. Just a hint. On the camera, I can see a bit of difference there, but with my actual eyes, the difference is quite significant. And no, it's not because this figure has yellow. Just from memory alone, I don't know how I remember it. When I first got this figure, it has always felt this yellow compared to the you know, other Stormtroopers. So depending on what coloring you like, I think this pure, pure bluer white is more accurate to the movies, but I have nothing against this more yellowish color. I don't mind it at all. On top of the helmet there, the front looks pretty good. The eyes a bit more sharper, less, uh, I guess, rounded up, whereas this one's a little bit on more on the puffy side. So both the model kit and this one do look pretty good. And of course, the model kit has no painted details, but you can add some stickers there if you want to. Moving to the side of the helmet, all three of these figures have these little blue lines sort of molded into the helmet. It's not just painted on, it's actually some more detailing there. The model kit comes with blue stickers because you're going to paint it yourself. The old one is a bit more of a blackish color, whereas this one also is a bit more on the blue tint. The gray area there is molded a bit smaller, this one's a bit more bulky. But this upper here is a bit larger, and this one is just smaller, it's also just painted on, and it's the grey paint on the top of the helmet is not as aligned as correctly as the new one. On the back of the helmet, all of these have the little details there. This one is built, and whereas the other ones are just sort of painted on. Looking at the back of the new helmet, it looks more slim and, and fine together, whereas the old one's a bit more bulky. The model kit is also a bit more bulky as well, so it's like this one's the thin one, this one's the chubby one, this one's just slightly fat. <laughs> Might as well look at the detailing on the back of the body here. You can see there's a lot more molded details on this circle here, whereas these ones are just smooth round circles, both on the old figure and the model kit. Moving further down to that little pouch thing, the model kit one looks a bit oversized. This one's very small. This one is a medium size. You got a little circle there with, with these small little dots molded in, whereas the old one has these two big chunks and a sort of square shape there. So they're just different, but they're not necessarily bad either way. Arm details, you have these little squares, just like on the model kit, whereas this one is just so sort of smooth and straight. The pants shape on the back, round tea bag and round. So again, subtle differences there. Moving down to the back of the legs, you see they've done a little cutout there to help with the articulation. I'm not really against that because it's on the back of the figure, but some people look at that and say, hey, that's not accurate. That gap is caused a lot bigger on the model kit, whereas that's non-existent on the old Stormtrooper. And in my original review of this original Stormtrooper, there's a lot of problems with posing just because the figure just can't move as much. Just like I guess the actors had to deal with in the movie because, um, well, they couldn't move properly either. And supposedly the plastic armor bits uh, did sort of uh, clip into this, the actor's skins a lot. That sounds really painful. Moving back over to the front, in the terms of the belly, we got the black dots there, black dots on this, but in terms of painting, you can add blue stickers there, and the old one also has a bit of blue detailing on one of the dots as well. In terms of molding detail, I think this one's just a bit sharper compared to the old figures, but either way, they all do fine. They just look fine. It's just sort of nitpicking which one's better or not. All figures have these soft, rubbery plastic there, as these little I'm not sure what they are, pouch-ish thingies, and they move out of the way as they need it. This one's smaller, this one's a little bit exaggerated, this one's definitely more subtle, and I like this one a bit better. Pants area on the front, there's a bit more of a bulge there to fit, you know, as these ones are just flat for, you know, with they've cut it off, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, moving down to the legs, again, sharper details, a uh, bit blurred on this one and more pronounced details for this knee pad, whereas this one's just smaller and sort of there. And uh, this one's also quite small as well and also a bit uh, less sharp. So this one's sharper, bigger, looks more pronounced. Moving down to the feet, the model kit of course doesn't have any toe joints, so these guys have toe joints. And this one has, uh, again, uh, doesn't matter which one it is, they all look fine. I guess this one's done for black joints, so it makes more sense, whereas the white joint here is hidden better. And both the new and old figures doesn't really hide the feet joint at all. They're just very clearly there. Whereas since the uh, model kit doesn't really have an extra joint there, it's 
I guess hidden quite well, but it's also really smooth and just looks like a boot instead of um, looks like hard shoes instead of a boot, whereas these actually have boot patterns molded in. Down at the jaw of the helmet, those little two round circle things, the detailing in those little, two little pipe things is much sharper than the old one. The old one's just sort of a bit of silver, just got a whereas the new one you can actually see little lines molded into it. I guess that's where they breathe or that's where their voice comes out. The model kit does have the details there, but of course you do have to paint it yourself. So depending on how good your paint is, if you don't apply the paint too thick, the details are there. But of course this one's already painted and you can already see the details, whereas the old one is just a bit of a blue. Also, uh, the little tubes there uh, extrude much more than the new helmet. The new helmet is much flatter in comparison. Moving over to articulation, you can see the stump tube move can go forward, backwards, not too much, down, up, sideways, sideways, so that's pretty good. Down the torso can move quite far back, quite far forward, sideways, sideways. I like that the, oh actually no, that's really sideways. I like for the most part the details do not cut, they just keep extending upwards, so that's, that's nice. Shoulder pads can go really far down, almost like he's... <laughs> Insert romantic jazz music here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so that that's great. It gets out the way, and in most part, it still looks just like it should. So yeah, you got the uh, like the sleeve there, just going up and down, double deck, double joint there. Arm can go really far up now, and you know you can still move this back down and hide whatever joint there is. So that's great. Uh, rotating joint here. This uh, is on the ball peg and little arm. So yeah, that's a lot of movement. Full rotation here. And then elbow joint, he has a, he does have a double joint there, but the upper part of the double joint pretty much doesn't move. Um, it's just not gonna move, but he can still do quite a lot of movement there. Hand is on a ball peck and swivel, just move just a little bit. Moving down to the legs, let's see, his legs can go, let's see, can it go down a little bit? No. So I'm gonna move this up the way so it can move up. Let's see, sideways quite well, that's good. Oh, I hate that sound. Rotating joint here. This is a like a ball joint in there, so there's actually an extra joint just right down there. And then knee joint is much more than the old one, but still not. It is a double knee joint. It moves much more than the old one. Foot up, foot down, foot sideways, sideways, and toe joint goes up. Doesn't go down, so no tippy toes for this stormtrooper. So overall, with articulation, this one is much better than the previous Stormtrooper, although as mentioned, the back leg area with a bit of armor cut off is not as good for some people. I am okay with it because I'm mostly gonna look at this figure from the front. The back is fine. If there's a little bit of modification to the back is okay as long as I get that extra articulation, just a little bit. If they've overdone it, I wouldn't be happy, but I don't think they did. In terms of coloring and painting and all that, it's a Stormtrooper. If you're gonna mess that up these days, you shouldn't be a toy company. Although the slightly more blue tint is favorable over the original more yellowish tint. For those of you who can get this at the original retail price, I do recommend this Stormtrooper. For me, for trooper building, it's always nice to have one really decent Stormtrooper at the front. And then for me, the rest of them are just the model kit ones. Those are fine. Of course, if you're really good at painting and decals and stuff, those Stormtrooper model kits are still the better figure. However, if you're over in the rest, like America or Europe, and the price of this is crazy because of all the import fees as well as the shipping, then you're probably fine sticking with the black series stuff. But if someone like, say, Bluefin in America were to import and sell this and you can get it for its you know, actual price, then I still recommend you just picking one up and then maybe army build with your black series figures standing you know, around and behind them. Because as a lot of the other Bandai SH figure Star Wars lines seem to be close, to the SH figure stuff. Although occasionally you do get one or two figures that's slightly taller and slightly shorter, so it should still fit fine with your know, black series stuff. So overall, this is the Stormtrooper figure that I'm keeping. I'm gonna be selling off my old one, and obviously he's gonna be leading my band of model kit Stormtrooper. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button. If you haven't done so already, leave a comment below how you feel about the Stormtrooper or how you feel about Stormtrooper figures in general. What's your favorite Stormtrooper figure as of right now? As always, you can support this channel via Patreon, but you don't have to do that. You can just share this video with other people who think will find this video useful. And as always, take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon and may the force be with you.